In this video, I will be showing you six incredible cenotes in Mexico near the cities of Valladolid and Tulum, so stay tuned and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified for upcoming videos. Hello everybody! Welcome! <laughs> Maria is driving us to uh, cenotes today. We uh, came from Playa del Carmen where we have spent the uh, past couple of uh, weeks, no, two weeks almost. We're heading over to Valladolid in the state of Yucatan. That's where you have all these clear water holes that you can swim into. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have an exciting video because we're going to be going to some of the really awesome cenotes that are near the city of Valladolid in Mexico. I'm going to keep looking at the road for safety. Um, but if you remember the video that I uploaded on, I think it was the Cancun video, we tried to go to Cenotes in Valladolid last year around this time, and they were closed because of the pandemic. So today we're going to be going to the Cenotes in Valladolid because they're open. William is behind the camera. Are you excited? Yes. It's possible to see the cenotes without a rental car, but it's just much easier. The only downside is that this time around, because so many people are traveling right now, um, they up the prices of the rental cars. So we paid $80 per day for this rental car. We're just gonna have it for two days. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. All right guys, so we just made it to the first cenote. It's called Cenote Suitun. This cenote is super, super beautiful. There's tons and tons of pictures of it. You've probably seen pictures of this cenote before. We're about to walk in and check it out. All right, so before you can enter the cenote, you have to take a shower first. So we're gonna shower up and then we're gonna head into the cenote. You ready to take a shower? So the entrance fee for adults is 150 pesos, which is $8 US, and they do require life jackets. So we're on our way in. All right, we just made it inside and it is incredible in here. So beautiful. The little pathway, the stone pathway down there, sometimes the water covers it, like right now, but sometimes it's completely exposed um, to where you can, you know, walk on it. You can still walk on it, but it's got water on it right now, but it still looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Fish yeah, also. I know. Is it cold? It is cold, but I got used to it. Yeah. Look, there's like birds up there. Kra. William and I are gonna jump in now. We're super excited. <laughs> How did you like Sinatha Suitun? Uh, that was very nice. Really cool. Sinatha Suitun is definitely extremely beautiful. They only allow you to stay one hour um, just so that there's not that many people in at one time. But we're going to be going to the next Sinatha. There's so many Sinathas here near Valladolid. 
Alright guys, so we are en route to the next cenote. There's another one nearby here in Valladolid. It's called Cenote Oxman. And it's another pretty famous one, so we're excited. I think there's some rope swings, so that should be really fun. Alright guys, so we just got to Cenote Oxman and it also costs 150 pesos, which is $8 US. Um, they have another option to pay 250 pesos, which includes food, but we brought food, so we just went with the first option. Cenote Oxman is basically like a big hole. There's a huge opening where the sun shines through, and there's also rope swings. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm excited. So life jackets are required at Sonote Oxman and I think William and I are going to wait in line to swing on the rope swing and jump. So that's going to be super fun. taking the life jacket off. So we just finished swimming at Sonota Oxman and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, very nice. We really liked the rope swing. The water was cold, but of course, all Sonotas, the water is cold. Um, so we're gonna take a little lunch break, but I think we're gonna try to do one more Sonota before we check into our hotel in Valladolid. If you're wondering what we brought for lunch, I brought some carrots and avocado, and then I have a salad here. Okay, this is salmon, so I'm going to add that to my salad. I'm just going to eat and then we're going to head over to the next cenote. We're pretty hungry. We're on our way to the next cenote. It's called Cenote Ubiku and it's also near Valladolid. See you guys when we get there. Okay. So we just got to Sonote Hubiku. We just paid the entrance fee. It was 150 pesos per person, which is about $8 US. And they do require here that you shower before you get in. Um, also, we hear thunder right now, so it might be raining. I'm going to shower real quick and then we're going to go and head into the Sonote. <laughs> coming from the ceiling. Also, it seems like you don't have to wear a life jacket at this one, so that's always a plus. It's so cold. This one that feels like ice, but it's super nice here. There goes nothing.
William and I just checked into a hotel here in Valladolid. We decided to spend the night here so that we could visit more cenotes in the morning. The hotel that we booked is called Country Hotel and Suites, and I was reading that it's newly renovated. It was about $51 per night on Hotels.com. It's pretty nice in here. There's just a queen bed here. There's a little kitchenette here, kind of like a table slash desk. There's also a refrigerator and it's a full length mirror here. There's a bathroom in here, shower, toilet. This hotel also has a pool. We'll show you guys that later. And then it does come with a free breakfast in the morning. So we are always excited about free breakfast. We're both tired from the cenotes. We're gonna just relax for a little bit, um, but I will update you guys in a bit. Later that day, William and I went out to a restaurant for dinner called El Sazon de Valladolid and ordered fajita plates for 90 pesos each. We were pretty hungry after a long day, so this really hit the spot. After dinner, we called it a night because we had another full day of visiting cenotes ahead of us. Hello guys and good morning from the Mexican jungle. So William and I are actually at the ruins of Ekbalam today. Ekbalam is located about 30 minutes north of Valladolid. It's more off the beaten path, so that's kind of why it's less visited. Ekbalam also has a cenote called Exanche. So you can do, of course, both the ruins and the cenote, but since we have to return our rental car today, we don't have enough time to do both the ruins and the cenote, so we are just going to be visiting the cenote only. So we are walking right now. The entrance is just located right over here. The entrance fee for cenote Exanche is 170 pesos, so that's about $8 US. And they do require that you take a shower before you enter the cenote. But look at how jungly it is. Super pretty in here. We just showered and just walking down to the cenote. <laughs> This cenote is so amazing. This one has a bigger opening at the top than the other ones we visited yesterday, so more of the sunlight shines through. And as of right now, we're the only ones here. This cenote opens at 9 and it's about 9.20. There's also a rope swing over there. They don't require life jackets here. Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in now. Yeah. Is nice. There's also a zip line right there. So nice. There's starting to be some people coming. We were the first ones here before. Oh, I'm sitting here with two rings. So nice. Now Maria is gonna jump. Getting ready to leave Sonote Xanche, but William earlier jumped from the very, very top. <laughs> Look how high it is. Oh my god. We just left Sonote Xanche and we're headed back to the hotel because the hotel is offering free breakfast. 
So we're gonna go eat. We're kind of on a time crunch because we wanted to visit two more cenotes near Tulum on the way back. We just made it back to the hotel and we walked across the street. This is where they have the breakfast and the pool. The pool is really nice. I'm ready to eat and we're gonna visit more cenotes after we eat. guys so William and I are leaving by the lead and we're gonna be heading towards Tulum on our way back to Playa del Carmen and we're gonna be visiting some of the cenotes near Tulum there's lots of beautiful ones in that area we came across cenote Zemwe and it's super super beautiful check it out this one that was actually only 70 pesos, which is three and a half dollars US. There's even like a little cave area back there. There's a spot where you can jump right over there. And I think I'm gonna jump. William is gonna jump from there. jump from, the rope swing, and then the clarity of the water is amazing. There's a little cave area, this Vismata. Super cool. We just left Cenote Zemwe and we just came to another cenote just about two miles from Cenote Zemwe called Cenote Calavera and this is going to be the last cenote we're visiting for today because it's all we have time for. So it basically looks like a skull. So we just came back from swimming at Cenote Calavera. It was super, super nice. Now we're gonna head back to Playa del Carmen because we have to return our rental car. All right, so we're back in Playa del Carmen. We made a stop to put in gas. William stopped to get some food inside the gas station. So just waiting for him and then we're gonna head on back and return the rental car. This will be the end of the video, so if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and post a comment. I'll see you in the next video.